Then all of a sudden he starts breaking out in sweat, autonomic memory, mo emotional autonomic memory. And he, f he said, I'm afraid I'm falling. Peter Levine was at a trauma conference in the Middle East when someone in the audience asked a question. Is it possible to work with a trauma if you don't know what it is? So Peter threw the question back and asked if anyone in the audience had a particular symptom that they'd like to work on. One man raised his hand. It was Chaim Doxberg. He just happened to be an expert in the field of treating trauma. And Peter shares his story now. He was the leading person on pioneering psycho psychoanalytic treatment for Holocaust survivors. And he came up and said that he had severe back pain for 30 years, non-remitting back pain. So next, Peter did a pain assessment with Chaim. Chaim turned out to be a nine on a 10 point scale. That's pretty harsh pain. What Peter did next was to draw attention to the area of pain in Chaim's back. He asked him to notice any muscle tension that might be lying underneath the pain. So he took a few moments and he said, ah, yes, I feel the tension. I feel a lot of tension in my back. And then I said something like, is the tension equal on both sides? And again, he went in to explore. He said, no, it's more on the right. And then I said, okay, if, that, if you feel that tension and that, uh, you allow that tension to just slowly move your body, in what may, way might it move your body? And then she, he feels himself moving and orienting towards the right side. Then all of a sudden he starts breaking out in sweat, autonomic memory, mo emotional autonomic memory. And he, he said, I'm afraid I'm falling. And I came up and put my hand behind his head to make sure he had support. And then again, just waves of sweating, of terror. Peter began sensing two things. Number one, he thought Chaim might be working through an implicit memory. And number two, Peter sensed that Chaim was getting stuck in an incomplete response. This memory was triggering a lot of pain and confusion, and it was about to come to the surface. And, and he then had an, in the memory of image of he was an army doctor and the truck that he was in was ambushed and he fell out into a ditch on his back. Everyone else was killed except for him because they didn't see him. And it was just a horrific sight. And then at the end, we reoriented and looked around the room and I asked him about the pain level. And he said, one or two. Oh, I barely feel it. So that was working with that particular symptom. That's a helpful framing of the issue when we're talking about traumatic memory. The memory can often live on in the physical patterns and the, the cognitive patterns that a client might develop after a traumatic experience. This can become a painful paradox because the very response that kept our client from harm can now also be keeping them from healing. Now I'd like to hear from you. How will you use this idea in your work today? Please leave a comment below and thanks for watching.